We're in a world where there are different churches of different denominations. There are mosques, there are synagogues, there are temples. So how can we find unity through all that? As I say, religions can, can close up in a sectarian way. I am the one that is right and you are wrong. And if you listen to me, all will be well. If you change, we must seek to find ways of meeting people, not domineering them, but revealing to them the beauty of what it means to be a human being. We're not creating a syncretism as if everything is the same. It's not a question of everything being the same. We're all the same as human beings, but we're called to grow, but to grow in love and in openness. So every religion will help us in this way, particularly if that religion is beginning to open up to other religions and to recognize that that religion, yes, it's important, but it can teach us all about the fundamental personhood, what it means to love people and to be open to others. So we have to be sensitive to experiencing the other and to be careful not to put around our group a wall cemented in so that I don't see others as beautiful. So here we're entering into a new phase of humanity, personhood being more important than just culture and religion. And that culture and religion is for the growth of personhood and the growth of personhood is to grow in love, go in deep respect over and above justice the laws, but to see that other people, you're my brother and my sister. Here we're in faith, but in that road to grow in that love, we need experience, we need interiority. We need maybe to be men and women who know how to listen to the inner voice, to be prayerful. Whatever the religion, to be people of prayer, which is somewhere to be in harmony with the infinite. Seeing that others of different faith, they have something to teach me. They are beautiful people.